while in Kazan the skaters were sharing medals and the Grand Prix prizes, no less eminent lineup gathered at the Ice Palace in St. Petersburg. Olympic champions, world and European champions, iconic figure skaters for Russia, and most of the athletes are currently competing. On November 3rd, Yevgeny Plushenko turned 40 years old, 35 of which he spent on ice, and it was on this occasion that everyone gathered. They congratulated Yevgeny on a grand scale, Alexei Mishin presented a portrait to the hero of the day, and Tamara Moskina went out with Plushenko on the ice, knelt down and gave her bow. And it is certainly worth a lot. In the first part, Elena Kostornaya became one of the main stars, she first went on the ice after the operation with a new short program under Malagenia. Let's omit the jump part, the skater is still in the process of recovery, but there is nothing to complain about in terms of skating and artistry. Remember Adios no Nino? Now these are again Spanish motifs, but more pretentious, liberated, adult. Elena captured the attention of the audience and did not let go until the very last second, so we wish her a speedy recovery. Alexandra Trusova and Elizaveta Tuktamasheva also performed fresh short programs. The modern on sea boss La Vida is just beginning to take on a cool look, but the audience is already turning on in earnest. Feeling good the Empress rolled on a gap, we are waiting for something similar in a week at the Grand Prix stage. Mikhail Kolyada took out the best showcases from the bins, charming from small to large sway, only a totus with a jacket is worth something, and also again showed the audience the reworked White Raven. Only a few days before the show it became known that Yevgeny Simonenko would still perform in it. He was just supposed to be in Kazan, but has not yet fully recovered in order to fight on equal terms with eminent rivals. But the form allows you to perfectly ride in the show and gain condition, you don't even want to remember the April rental of Adagio, but the November one turned out to be impeccable. I wish you to go through four Olympics, Yana Rukovskaya said after this performance. It was necessary to see Zhenya's face at that moment, it seems that such a long sports path is not yet included in his plans. But what the hell is not kidding? During the break, a very homely atmosphere reigned in the arena. Nikita Mikhailov walked with his little daughter along the side, the mission spouses scurried back and forth with their grandchildren. Elena Kostornaya went out to the fans and signed autographs for a long time, Mikhail Kolyada concentratedly warmed up in the Tribune, while his wife Daria watched this carefully, and Mark Kondratyuk was found in the dining room. It was worth refreshing during the intermission, and the quads returned to their place. In the first half, he did not succeed with quadruple sow cows, a butterfly and a fall, but in the demonstrative version of Jesus everything went perfectly. Don't jump Ultra C. Yana Rukovskaya lamented, but the boys hardly obeyed. Several perfect quadruple sheepskin coats were made by Makar Ignatov, from the side of his quads they look even bigger. Alexander Samarin brilliantly performed all the triple axles, and on the bow he also went to the quadruple Lutz, but, unfortunately, it turned out to be only a triple. But Yevgeny Simonenko obeyed. Frost in the second part went without triples and without quads, but with Zhenya's usual fire in the choreo and full dedication. The highlight of the evening was the pair number from the upcoming show Swan Lake. Alexandra Trusova appeared in the role of Odile, and her lover Mark Kondratyuk, in the role of a black magician. Most of the performance was soloed by Sasha, but her partner appeared only at the end. The parts were staged quickly, shortly before the show, the figure skaters will be engaged in a full study of the production later. But Sasha and Mark have already made a good first impression. The ending of the show turned out to be completely strange, if the same Trusova and Kondratyuk gathered their kvadlets for an encore, then nothing worked out for the students of Plushenko's Angels. Sofia Sarnovskaya, Sofia Titova, Arena Parsegova and other little girls from the academy now and then went to quadruples and fell fell, fell. Each of the athletes made several attempts, and all in vain. You can praise the girls for their zeal, but the falls looked very scary. Were these attempts worth it? The risk of injury is too great. Already on Saturday November 12, 
viewers in Moscow will be able to see the anniversary show. The composition will be slightly different, the same Tuktamasheva, Ignatov and Kolyada are announced for the Grand Prix stage. But then other champions will appear, there are plenty of them in Yevgeny Plushenko Soyuz. Promoter Vladimir Kronov spoke about organizing a boxing match between figure skater Alina Zagatova and pop singer and TV presenter Olga Bozova. We are negotiating and planning a fight between Bozova and Zagatova on March 9 in Moscow. Can you tell us more about the course of the negotiations? We have already talked with the manager Zagatova. There was communication with Bozova herself, this week there will be a meeting with her manager. So both sides agree to fight? Yes. The idea was approved, we are negotiating the details. And what will be the format of the duel between Bozova and Zagatova? It will be a boxing fight, three rounds of two minutes. This is how it is planned, Kronov said. Commentator and host of Match TV Dmitry Gubernyev spoke about a possible boxing match between Zagatova and Bozova. Whatever the child amuses, if only he was healthy. The only thing I would like to understand is how serious this fight will be. There is a feeling that this will be a comic story. Of course, the public would like such a serious bloody battle to take place. In the case of Olga, the extra hype, of course, does not hurt. In the case of Alina, she won't hurt either, but instead of boxing training, I would choose classes in speech technique and on-air performance skills," Gubernyev said. Three-time Olympic champion Irina Rodnina also gave her comments. The girls have nothing to do, let them have fun. Bringing attention to sports? Is this a sport? This is drawing attention to yourself, said Rodnina. Honored coach of the USSR Tatyana Tarasova also gave her comments. I don't relate to this in any way. I'm not interested and I don't support it. I don't care, Tarasova said. Choreographer, Olympic medalist in ice dancing Ilya Verbuk spoke about Camilla Valiva's attempts to perform a quadruple sheepskin code after competitive skating at the Russian Grand Prix in Kazan. I think it's a bit redundant. Competitions are not a show, there are rules at competitions. It's understandable that the emotions and performance in her beloved Kazan, but it's better that the competitions are competitions, at the competitions the athlete should immediately sit in the corner for grading," said a Verbuck. The Beijing 2022 Olympic champion in the team Camilla Valiva held a master class for young figure skaters in Kazan. Hello everyone from training in Kazan. Valiva wrote. The day before, the figure skater won the third stage of the Russian Grand Prix.